Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 2011 Stingray 250 LR powered with a 300 horsepower Volvo Penta engine, fuel injected engine, not carbureted. Boat also comes with a matching Eagle Stingray trailer, painted trailer with a spare tire as you see. Very clean boat, never been bottom painted and it shows under 230 hours or so on the engine uh, or boat and engine gel coat shows very well has a nice shine to it the black has uh, is in very good condition no dock crash has an integrated swim platform nice feature that this boat comes with that others don't is it has a dual prop so that's a nice it, it, the dual prop allows excellent propulsion coming out of the hole or your hole shot if you're pulling tubers or water skiers it also gives you great control around the dock instant feedback when you're shifting more so than a single prop but uh, it's a nice factory upgrade that uh, has been paired with this boat or the first person who bought it came that way. has a uh, swim ladder that folds off the integrated swim platform. The platform is also nice because kids can dangle and jump off of the back of it and they don't have to worry about hitting the outdrive when it's in the down position. Uh, some boats don't have a swim platform and that's something to look out for. Also has the Polk Audio um, remote stereo system for the back transom area. Let me show you this side of the boat and then we'll hop in the boat and show you the condition of it. This is how we uh, took in the boat. We haven't even waxed it yet and it really doesn't need to be waxed but we'll probably throw a coat on just to seal in and bring back even better shine than it currently has. Here's a little flaw there if you can see that. A little bit of area where it rubbed up against a pier or something like that. trailer appears to be in good shape but it is a boat trailer and it is coming with the boat it is 100 percent free part of the deal if you so choose to use it and keep it as we climb up the back of the swim platform the boat also comes with a bimini top which is currently in its boot a little uh drainable cooler back here ski eye has a fully carpeted interior, snap in and out carpet, so you can keep it in the boat or take it out if you don't want it in, but it's nice to feel that instead of the non-skid. It also has a self-failing cockpit. All the upholstery in the boat is in fantastic condition. No rips, tears, minor blemishes here or there, but shows very well. We also have the filler cushion for in here, so you can fully, you know, people can sit there when you're using the boat it snaps in and out there's an area for a little table here in the floor that you can put in if you're having lunch or drinks you can also put it forward on the bow same table interchangeable so a blue cooler little wash sink hooked up to the fresh water system cup holders throughout pop-up cleats they're, they even threw a few rod holders in so you can throw a fishing rod off and maybe put a tr troll for some rock fish if you so choose. It's not really a fishing boat, but you can definitely go out and have some fun one day. There's the Volvo Penta engine. Fuel injected 300 horsepower Volvo Penta. Another cool feature I like about Volvos is they put a flush out system in the uh, uh, hooked up to it so you can hook a hose up to it and flush out your engine after each use which is a cool feature not every usually you have to buy an accessory kit to make that and add that onto a boat all these cushions pull up for additional storage area into your batteries there's also uh, here's your table and everything in there battery switch is located in there more storage underneath here Oop. there we go also under here the cockpit chairs swivel and you can set 
this pushing up or down based on whether or not how high you want to sit above the window or below the window while underway. Hummingbird GPS and depth finder, digital. So you also have a depth finder in the dash. Polk audio system, that's a nice sound system. Polk makes a good radio for sure. Also with the cover so it doesn't ruin the front of it. You have a little cooler here. Walk through windshield to the bow where you have storage under both port and starboard. This upholstery is also in excellent condition. Little anchor locker right there. Make sure they can see if there's an anchor in there. There is a line in there but no anchor. But really lays out well for a nice this is a nice layout for a bow rider for sure. But it also has a porta pot, which is uh, nice for the ladies. There's your cockpit and bow covers. Little window for the bath area, bathroom area. Richie compass. Oh, you have storage underneath here. There are tons of gear in there. Nice 250 Stingray, low hours. Give us a call for additional questions. We're going to go put her in the water and show you how she runs.